It's a beautiful day for baseball in Fayetteville. Mother Nature has finally decided to cooperate. 80 degree temperatures at Bomb Stadium, the site of a non-conference matchup between the third-ranked Arkansas Razorbacks and the Missouri State Bears. Bolden, the thing it's really improved with him is this slider. It was a little flat early on in this season. They got on so top. It will be of a it. series shortened to two games. There's a bunt and a good one, almost in no man's land. Martin's going to pick it up and throws late to first and a bunt single by Steinmetz to start the contest. Bolden, a long pause before the pitch, and that one rocketed towards the gap. Kerstad goes over and maybe has to be cautious with it. Plays it on a bounce. His throw to third is going to be a little bit late, and this allows Millis to go to second base. Well, Casey Martin. And the 3-0 pitch misses, and all of a sudden the bases are full of bears for the freshman pitcher. And he'll get one. He's leaned on that slider. For a couple of Ks of Ironman and now Brown in the top of the first. You see the ball get away from Cook. But he... Little flare out towards left. Almost in no man's land, and this may score a pair. Kerstad's throw is late. And it's 2 nothing Missouri State. Ground ball deep into the hole. Kenley is going to go the long route to first. And it's 3 nothing Missouri State. Ripped to right. Cole had to come in a step and lunge for it to end the top of the first inning. But the Bears sent eight men to the plate, and they score three. And the Hawks have some work to do. Wrist behind him. Hard to pick up the baseball, but then it was coming right at Marty a bit towards third base. And then he misses badly. Four-pitch walk to Eric Cole. So it was a walk that kick-started. Ground ball, base hit, left field. Martin around third, he will score, and there it is. If they're going to play you up the middle and they're going to pitch you outside, that should face right into what Kerstad is able to do. Yeah, it's a Big batter here early in this game, and that one is just high, and the bases are loaded. Ball four. And Cole will score, and Fletcher gets an easy RBI, although he worked a nice, he meets an RBI, I might think a little bit longer. Well, he got hit anyhow. He didn't have a choice there. And we're tied at three. The Hawks have one single this inning. Either with a walk or a hit by pitch. Up the middle. Ironman will get there. Shovels to second for an out. Back to first. What a double play by the Bears. Well, that's Barrett Lowski, who's been dynamite his last few starts. He's a guy that you see his nerves right there in 18 and important hitter in this inning. Floated out towards center. We've seen Fletcher make so many diving catches this year, and that's another. Step by Fletcher, man. Off the bat, he breaks straight in. That's the hardest ball to read as an outfielder. That line drive right. Steinmetz out of Overland Park, Kansas. Takes that just off the plate. See if the Hawks can get a double play. There's one. Kenley's throw completes the DP. There's a rocket that is on the chalk and fair in the corner. So Millis, who singled in the first. Has a double in his next at bat. Good pitch. Whetstone goes down on strikes. He's just going to drive this into the gap. The Bears will regain the lead. Miller scores easily on a double from Brown. It's 4 3 Missouri State. A couple of ringing doubles this inning. 5.25 ERA, 12 innings pitched. Get pretty good strikeout to walk ratio. Least tough against those left-handers, and that's the matchup Dave Van Horn wanted right here. Cook sets up on that outside corner. Pitch is down and in. Hit well to left. The wind starts to carry this. Kerstad leaps up, and the ball's off the fence. This may end up scoring a pair. Brown to the plate. Duffy's going to be waved in. Kenley doesn't realize it until it's late, and then he missed throw was late. I don't know what's going on on that. On a ball off the fence and left, why aren't you looking to the plate? He might have thought off the bat he had a play. Instead, it went for a double. And there's another base hit to left field. Ruff had to wait to make it sure it went through. Sam Faith, who had three hits all year, will he single us in for that baseball. Another payoff pitch. And he just walked in a run. Four runs are home, and now the most dangerous hitter. Ground ball to third. Martin with the bobble, but he throws to second for an out. Back to first. That's a big double play. Martin to Shaddy to McFarland to end the inning. Just struck outside. Another straight change by Logan Wiley. Members on Ramage, really good ERA out of the freshman. Hit quite a few opportunities in the 20 and the third innings. The 29 Ks and only eight walks. 
And there's a wave of the miss. So Ramage able to get two Ks facing two bad. Cole Ramage might be the answer for Arkansas. That's a good start. They need him to. the first batter that Wiley faced with McFarland, and the base is loaded. Maybe a swinging bunt here. Brown at third base. Never got a clean handle on it, but McFarland beats out the infield. That ball stroked it off center field. It's down the score run. Kenley's going to go to third base. The throw is offline. The throw back to second, and Martin is safe. With an RBI, it's a 7-4 game. Ramage will get there. Little flip. That's a perfect inning. Barely at first base. Maybe some order has been restored. We're halfway done. A little smile, but a four or three run. Russell walks back into that windup and then pauses. Herstead shoots one to left. Up into the breeze. Back to the fence. There's number nine. It's Heston Curl, Herstead's world, and we're just happy to be living in it. Watch this location of this fastball. It's on the outside corner. Hit the mid. Kirst had just an excellent piece of hitting. Drove that ball over. Ruff almost made a great play. Just a little too deep into the bullpen. That's another reason why that shift to me doesn't make sense in a situation where the wind is howling to left. This kid's good enough. That ball has hit a ton towards center. Steinmetz racing over, and it's off the base of the fence. That ball was moved about 20 feet in the last portion coming down out of the sky and even Carson shaking his head. That ball looked like it was headed to straight. Ground ball up the middle and it'll get through for a base hit. Chatty around third will score easily. It's a one run contest after the Cook RBI base hit. McFarland bloops one towards right. That'll drop. Cook takes a peek and he'll round and hold it second. Where's that throw going? Really sure he why he strides off of the warning track in left field. Martin drives one towards the wall. Does the wind gonna help out on the hill and gone? A three run shot for Casey Martin, and the Hogs have their first lead of the night. Haney breaking ball that Martin doesn't miss. Got up in that wind, and it just carried out a huge three run homer. And Casey Martin, the hero of the night so far for the Razorbacks in this crowd. Pringle comes on for the first time since he threw seven innings in relief against Auburn a couple of Sundays ago in one of his most impressive performances of the season. Kickstart something for the Bears. A walk would probably play right into their hands. Not close. Ground ball back to the mound. A chance for two, a high throw. Kenley kept his foot on second, and he will complete the double play with a throw to McFarland. Think up the middle the other way. Loop drives one towards right field, into the wind, towards the fence, it's going to drop shy of the track. And it gets behind Duffy to the wall, so Bonfield's going to head for three. A good throw might have a shot. That's not a good throw, and he's safe. Probably a double in an air for Bonfield. Bonfield a triple. Duffy bobbled that ball. Kerstad sends one out of the right center field, it'll drop for another base hit. Heston with his third RBI in the game, and the Hogs are in double figures in runs. Fletcher loops one into center. The wind will just knock this ball down. Dominic has his first hit of the game, and the Hogs in double figures in hits and runs. That's their 11th base Jake hit. Jake Reinald starting to get that feel now that everything he throws is coming out of that same tunnel. Kenley with a play. Good throw, two outs. Let's check in with Haley. Here's your payoff. Heat, strike three, inning over. For a college baseball note, I don't think you're ready. I'm going to ask you again, but I'll wait. There's a bunt towards first. Kenley trying to beat Whetstone up the line. He'll beat it out. Once he got past the first baseman, that was going to be a base hit. Ground ball to third. Knocked down by Brown. Everybody's safe. Hawks haven't hit a ball out of the infield. They've loaded them up. That ball's out of the infield. Steinmetz chasing. This is a long run. Is he going to get there? It's the left fielder, Ruff. Another RBI for Heston on the sack fly. Now down four. They have five outs with which to work. Rindle is third strikeout. Kenley retreating. It's over his head. Millis, four hits tonight Two at first base. No treat for Whetstone. First base is occupied. He's sprinting. He doesn't realize he's out. 
Two gone. No three by Rindle. Ball game. Seven strikeouts and four scoreless innings for Rindle and the Hogs with an 11 7 win. Well, it started out ugly for Arkansas, and they kind of righted the ship. Big win over a big rivalry in Missouri State.